Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser, version 98, is now available and started rolling out on the 3rd of February 2022. Now, there's not too much to mention regarding feature updates and add-ons and key highlights in version 98, and that's due to the quicker four-week release cycle where new features are a lot more thinner on the ground, so to speak. But there are a lot of policy updates and also those all-important security updates um, to the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. Now, just to mention some of those key highlights quickly, apparently, according to Microsoft, we have a better and enhanced security now when browsing the web in version 98, which will help protect against the in-wild exploits, which are also known as zero-day exploits. And you have heard me uh, talk about zero-day zero exploits. That's um, um, threats that have already been exploited in the wild, which are currently active. Now, um, apparently, according to Microsoft, um, the enhanced security now in version 98 will give users an extra layer of protection when browsing the web against those zero-day exploits which are active and exploited in the wild. So that's a nice security upgrade to version 98. And then if we head up to the menu in the top right, go to settings and profiles. You can also access this just by going to your profile picture and clicking on manage profile settings and we go to profile preferences yeah you can now personalize multi uh, profile experiences with profile preferences for different sites so you get profile preferences for sites add edit and delete automatic profile switching websites list here and basically this gives you an opportunity to add profiles um, where um, when you go to different sites, it'll actually change your profile to the preferred profile for that site. And sites that you choose to automatically switch profiles will appear here. And you have that option now in version 98. And then the next uh, little add-on is not uh, by default the next feature, but it's a flag called Force Major Version 2100. Now, you might have heard me talk about this in previous videos with Chrome and Edge. But we are now on version 98 in Microsoft Edge, which means we are getting closer to version 100, which could pose a problem on older websites uh, due to some older websites reading version 100 as version 10. And now um, this also was made available in Google Chrome and now in Edge because of the Chromium platform. Um, you can now apply the flag uh, to basically send a three digit version number in the user, uh, user agent string header, that's the version, just to uh, basically test out and see if everything works as expected. So if we just head up to the address bar and enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags, uh, all you have to do to get the flag to pop up is just add, uh, just type in force. And if we just scroll down here, you'll see a force major version 2100 in user agent and it says force the Microsoft Edge major version in the user agent string to 100 which allows testing the three digit major version number before the actual M100 that's version 100 re release. This flag is only available from version 97 to 99 so we are on 98 already and that's available for Mac, Windows, Linux and Android. We changed the default setting to enabled and just restart the browser to apply that flag. And then the next uh, key highlight worth mentioning is also another flag, which doesn't uh, is not a default feature, but we can enable it. And that's overlay scroll bar. Scroll bars have been added to Microsoft Edge, which just gives the scroll bar, as you can see, at currently it's a little bit clunky and chunky, and looks quite outdated. It just gives it a more modern, minimal, almost Windows 11 type fluid fluent design so if we go back to our uh, experimental flags and in this search i'm just going to type in overlay that'll be enough to bring the flag up and you can see a uh, windows style overlay scroll bars enables the new windows themed overlay scroll bars that can transition between minimal and full modes based on pointer movements and that's only available for the windows operating system change that from default to enabled again restart the browser again to apply that flag and now you'll see the scroll bars take on a more fluent minimal look here on the right and 
are round, have rounded edges and if you hover over it you can actually see the arrow keys appear at the top and bottom and when you move away that disappears so that just functions as the flag described and if we just go back to our home page you will see the same it takes just on a more modern fluent minimal design and that's the overlay scroll bars for Microsoft Edge which you can apply using that flag now if we just head quickly over to the edge release notes for the stable channel as I mentioned there are a lot of policy updates too many to mention in this video as this video would just go on forever and I will leave a link uh, to these release notes down below for you to go check out all the policy updates more in depth if you are interested and then we get to the all important uh, security updates which are um, uh, the latest security updates from and of the Chromium project. Now these are more or less the same as the Google Chrome web browser because they are both both based on the Chromium platform and uh, those latest security updates to the Chromium platform include 27 security fixes. Eight of those are high risk and high vulnerability security flaws that have been addressed in this uh, latest Chromium platform security update. So it's important to check that you are up to date, um, especially because of those 27 security fixes that have been applied to the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. Now, as always, we just head back to the menu in the top right, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And this is just to check if we have that latest version. And um, the, this update will take place if you use Edge on a regular basis in the background. But as mentioned, when we are dealing with high vulnerability in, and 27 security fixes and flaws, it's always good to double check that you're up to date. And that latest version now is 98.0.1108.43. That's the latest stable version of the Edge browser. And then just another little side note to mention here, yeah, you will see we have a new little menu uh, in the about section called Microsoft Edge Insider where it just tells you a little bit more about the Insider program of all the different Edge channels and if we click on learn more this will take us to the uh, Microsoft Edge Insider channels web page where you can go find out a little bit more about the Canary version, the dev channel, the beta channel and what they're all about and actually download them and try them out for yourself and you have seen me feature numerous videos on the Canary channel, uh, which I have featured in this browser on a regular, uh, in this you know on this channel on a regular basis. So that's more or less what is new in version 98 of the Microsoft Edge web browser. As I say, not too much when it comes to new features, but a lot of new policy updates, and then of course those all important 27 security fixes to the Chromium platform. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.